So, hello everyone, welcome to another match day vlog. Wigan Athletic versus West Bromwich, winning Dunkin' Donuts, recommended by EFCTH for this. So, nice one, my G. G ha ha ha. So, what are we getting? Course, not limited time, iced beverages, iced latte. Regular in case I don't like it, but I've heard that's a belt, so if I like it, come here for future. Milk choice, whole milk. Yeah, may as well, I don't even know where it is really. But add that to the order. And I'll see you all when I review it. Ooh. Look at these heavy donuts. Sherry cheesecake. Not available. Boston. Damn. Apple crumble. I don't think any of these advertise me to be fair. Um, any in here? Lots of images out of stock. Caramel latte, medium, yeah, CDH. Yeah. Oh, that's in the good. Oh, the good. Oh, nice. It's very decent. Strong, though, absolutely strong. As you can see, it's just like dark, it's pure dark. And then the milk, that is banging. I don't normally like caramel lattes, I don't normally like any sort of iced, I don't normally like coffee, but bah, it's absolutely stunning. And that will keep me awake for the game. Hope you don't miss any goals, hopefully Will Keane does me proud. Because Will Keane scored a penalty against Burnley, so if I would have went, that would have been my jinx totally ended. He's only scored once in like 12 games since I've been at Wigan, so hope he scores again tonight. Here we go. Stadium turnstile to right hand side. I wonder how this game was going to go. This time we made that Wigan on like last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, lads. What a singer do believe it is. One of the best singers in the planet Earth today. Where did you go? Oh, you failed to make the fail, you see. I'm not finished. Some tunes here at Wigan at DW Stadium. I will flip if it's nil nil. Would you actually? I mean, you just dragged me off from watching his standards for both of this. His standards are like coronation sheets. <laughs> Not like Jacob Chubb's Stranic guy, eh? Ho ho ho! Bill Mitchell, what an after, and his son as well. Compared to how far it is, it's about two hours drive, and it's about past four hours overall distance. It's a fair play for them coming out on a Tuesday night in the championship. Ignore that on my top, but score predictions 1 1. Hopefully, Will Keane scores. Um, yeah, 1 1. Think it'll be tight. How about you, Joe? 2 0 West Brom. Thanks, 2 0 to the Bromwich.
wouldn't be happy with him. I always call him again as shit as well. So he's proved me wrong there. Making us start off really good. McLean used to play for West Brom, so in Sunderland in the Prem. Again, this is a machine. Said he was worth 20, but Anthony Gordon scores two in two, Everton and one more. Good stuff, please. Oh, okay. It's okay, you're cussling. So good pressure to get him to move back though. A good game, this to be fair. I think I was screaming with um, Max Power. One of his own playing. <laughs> was that right? I actually had 70 rated players in the league too. But yeah. But from there, I don't even play FIFA anymore. Oh! 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 I think it goes out, but we're going to have an added much attack. They're just hitting the ball forwards. But they're doing well to be 1 1 against West Brom. West Brom should really be winning, but second half soon. Both teams play equally well. West Brom fans will win. We'll see even Wigan fans will win. Everton still 1 0 up. It's starting to score with Well, how has the game gone? It's a good, good game, like. I think Wigan are just trying so hard. They're just twatting the ball up, seats, hoping for the best. But when West Brom go forward, they look dangerous. Yeah, exactly. West Brom scored. He scored again with this allowed. We can just do a docker bus. He's up forward and losing the ball. I think I'll have a 1-1 full time where West Brom will sneak a 2-1. How about you? Do you reckon the same? We'll have to pop and change now, I know, because it's said 2-0. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going straight away wrong. <laughs> Possibly. Every time he goes, it's a massive goal fest. So. Yeah, and the limbs yesterday after those counts. Does net? I only went to one nil nil last season. Same, same. I actually. Oh no, I went to two. I think I went to Saturday nil nil. And I went to. 
on a Wednesday way. Um, I don't know if three. You think you went to two? Well, yeah. Bet's going to be not for the Oh, yeah. Most, most surprised press and Jordan Nil Mill like they have all fucking seats. It's a true delight, four hour over round trip. Go 
top few positions. But not giving a free kick there is a win from the ref. You know, gives a bit more advantage. The game finally opens up on the 86th minute. It's a full time then, Wigan won. I'm gonna say Bristol City won because that was the last time we went to. West Bromwich Albion won. The opinions was it was a good 15 minutes. The exact same as the Tramia game against Colchester, a good 15 minutes. And the game just went completely flat afterwards. The one mistake from Wigan, which cost them the win today. But again, Wigan haven't had a bad start of the season. It's like six, seven games, one loss, compared to them just going up. Not bad at all. So, you know, yeah, it was a bit of a shy game after 15, 20 minutes, but even Joe said it was shit, wasn't it, Joe? It wasn't great, life was. But it is what it is, and Wigan got themselves a point. West Brom, though, that's a big question. West Brom always gets draws. And Steve Bruce as well, he's always, he's always had a draw thing. Even when he was at Newcastle, he used to always draw games. And, you know, but whether or not, let me know in the comments if he's a Bruce out, because West Brom, I reckon that squad should be pushing for promotion, but instead they're stuck mid-table at the moment. What lights have gone off, fantastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. But yeah, I mean, atmosphere was all right, but then uh, you could tell the game went flat because then the atmosphere went flat, but went all right towards the end when they were trying to coach, but I don't know what on earth they were doing, you know. You had McLean and you had Tilt, and both of them were going for the same ball. But where's the communication? But anyway, I think that's a decent draw. When I go to the game tomorrow, I wanted to go to Blackpool versus Blackburn in a Lancashire derby. But if anyone can help me before tomorrow night, it'll be appreciated because I want a Blackpool Blackburn ticket. However, what it's saying is Blackpool's I've got to have a previous purchase, although I previously purchased a ticket in the home end for Everton Blackpool. However, I got a ticket for the Everton end when I got to Blackpool, so that should still technically count as a previous previous purchase. And Blackburn doesn't. Blackburn says season ticket holder for the coach. It says season ticket holder on now, but they've gone on general sale. But I've got to go up to Blackburn's ticket office, which I'm not doing all the way around the world. So probably going to go to Stoke. Stoke versus Swansea. Should be a decent game, that's to be fair. As long as that's not another draw. But nah, trust me, Stoke Swansea, that, that sounds like a good game. Sure, that was like 3 3 last year. I don't know, but anything under Swansea is good because Swansea are in big trouble in the Championship. So it's Stoke, but Stoke got a new manager in Alex McNeil. Is it Alex McNeil, I think, the Sunderland manager? Alex Neil, <laughs> Alex not Alex McNeil. McNeil! <laughs> yeah, it is Wigan's ground in the background. So yeah, just to end my vlog, hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you have. Follow his um, podcast on Spotify, is it? Spotify. Yeah, you can find it anywhere. Yeah, Spotify, funny old life. Even follow his Twitter. Even follow Jack Hudson. <laughs> anyway, hang on, there's a car coming. I do not want to get knocked over. Yeah, we do. Otherwise, this will hurt. But yeah, hope you all enjoy your match day vlog. See you tomorrow if we go to the game. Well, I've, de I've definitely got three options. Blackpool, if the ticket ticketing system works for that. I just walk across, I can't be asked. <laughs> Tickets, if the ticketing system works, I might go to Blackpool if you Blackburn or someone can sort me a ticket out. If not, Stoke versus Swansea or Bootle versus, who is it? Um, Bootle v Radcliffe F in the FA Youth Cup, the under 18s. Would I go to there? Possibly would. Just got to see what's going to go on tomorrow, but. I'm sure more than likely be a Stoke versus Swansea at the moment, which you know be a good to get a first vlog at the best 3 6 stadium for my YouTube. Anyway, 
rabbit it on. So thank you all for watching my vlog. Hope you all enjoy. Special feature, got a milky bar. Milky bar, um, crush them. Who doesn't love milky bar? Nine out of ten. Smash in. There we go. Chicken, I'm just gonna try the skin. Shaking his head. Dip dad shaking his head, doesn't approve. Thank you, this is Ryan. Hot me, you alone. Mm. 10 out of 10. The M58 fucking motorway closed. So you got all these lorries out of having C4 dots. And look at the queue down there. Absolutely unbelievable. This has been a special features. I mean, at least we can relax and have our chicken, chips, and corn on the cob and a crush them. End of the special features. Hope you all enjoyed.